Alright, what's up everybody? I'm feeling good tonight. How about you guys out there, Mountaineers? Let's do this thing, right? Welcome back to the Jam Cave Studio, here deep inside the heart of the Jazz Mountain, where we are going to spin Hump Day Hikes Volume 6 for y'all this evening. How about that? I can't believe we're already on number 6. It's crazy. And it's so much thanks to you guys for all the love and support and, you know, positive feedback. So uh, we couldn't and wouldn't do it without you. So thanks to our fans. You guys rock. And let's do another one of those kind of funky bluesy jazz shows tonight. How's that sound for the theme? I think it's going to be pretty sweet. And uh, who better to get us going on that vibe than Mr. Freddie Hubbard, the amazing trumpet player and band leader. This one is off of his classic 1969 album, A Soul Experiment, and it is called Hang Em Up. Thanks for listening, guys. This is Jazz Mountain. So I swear to God, that's Robbie Robertson on guitar, right? I mean, it sounds just like him to me, especially like if he joined a jazz band. I feel like that's exactly how he'd play. It's hilarious. But it's not. It's a guy by the name of Eric Gale, who's kind of an unknown guy in the jazz scene, but he's awesome. And like I think we mentioned before on the show, actually, this album features like no one I know, but they're all awesome. And, you know, that's jazz, right? But uh, let's keep things going here with a Jazz Mountain debut. Let's go. This is a band that I've been wanting to play for a long time now and finally getting the chance here. They're from all the way down in Nolens on the bayou and they're called The Meters.
The Meters Rock, right? They're one of those bands that are definitely on the bucket list. I've never seen them, and I would love to go down to New Orleans to see them. Apparently, they put on a hell of a show. So up next, guys, we are literally opening a vinyl right here, right now for y'all. So we're going to christen this album together. And this is an artist that DJ Id, the fearless co-host of Jazz Mountain, showed me. His name's Mel Brown, and he destroys the guitar. So this is title track on the album, Chicken Fat. Track one, side one, let's do this. That's Mel Brown there from Jackson, Mississippi, playing that Gibson ES-175, getting that nasty tone out of it, right? That is such a ripping tune. 
And DJ Id said that he thought that Mel might not have been like classically trained, but maybe just like sounds like he picked up the guitar and just could play kind of like Hendrix with like, you know, no formal training. I'm not sure. Maybe so, maybe not. But what I do know is that he plays it how he means it. It's so raw. It's great. And up next here on the show, let's play a St. Louis musician by the name of Charles Kynard. This guy is pretty good at organ, let me tell you. Let's go. Let's check it out.
the rhythm section on that song is so awesome. It's kind of interesting the way it sounds to me. Like, you know, there's the hand percussionist and that kind of strange bass part, but it all works out. It's pretty grooving. And then, you know, Charles rips the organ solo, so that doesn't hurt either. But great tune. And let's keep things going here on Jazz Mountain and get happy for y'all. This next one's by a band I've never heard of. They're called The Three Sounds, and this one is called Repeat After Me. And I'm telling you, you're about to get happy. This song is awesome.
Mm -mm -mm. That was tasty. And now it's time to play some Lee Money here on the show. This is Jazz Mountain, and we're going to play a vinyl for you on this one, pulling it from the Mountain Archive. This one is called Africa off of the album The Sixth Sense, but it's spelled A-F-R-E-A-K-A. So it's like Africa, but with freak in the middle. So kind of a freaky jazz number, I guess. It's a good one, guys. Let's keep things rolling here on the show with some Lee Morgan for y'all.
1967 was apparently a pretty good year for Lee Morgan, I guess. That was awesome. What a cool track. And on that one, he's got his buddies with him. Jackie McLean on the alto sax. Frank Mitchell on the tenor. He's got Cedar Walton, one of his favorites, on piano. Victor Sproles on the bass. And his main man, Billy Higgins, on the drums. And up next, let's go back to some guitar. And now we'll play some George Benson, his take on the classic Take 5.
I swear at some point during his solo, he starts playing metal licks or something. It's just like so fast and furious and evil and just like, ah, oh, it's menacing. It's so good. And yet he still has that signature kind of really deft, quick, kind of soft, sophisticated touch. It's a really cool sound. I love it. And speaking of metal, we're going to be doing a Jazz Mountains Halloween special for y'all called Jazz Mountains Haunted House coming up here for the holiday. And it's going to feature some pretty metally sinister kind of stuff. It's going to be mental. And, uh, you know, that's coming up. But right now, we got one more for y'all. This is the last song of the set. Let's tap our good friend Grant Green, who's definitely one of my favorite guitar players. He's amazing. This one's from 1971 off of his album Shades of Green, and it's called California Green. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Let's rage one more for y'all tonight.
that is exactly what I'm going for right there when I listen to music. Thank you, Grant Green. That song is one of my faves. And we actually have one more. Faked you out, as usual. One more song. One more song. It's Encore Time here on Jazz Mountain. And uh, this one's actually going to be our bonus trivia question of the night, too. Hey, hey. So if you can answer this correctly and you're the first one to hit me up, you get a vinyl of your choice. The question is, what song is this? It might be kind of an easy one. We'll see. But, uh, you know, just be quick on the draw. Loyal listeners get first dibs, I guess, right? And this song is actually also for my mom. She's been one of the most faithful listeners of Jazz Mountain ever since the very beginning. She's one of the top Mountaineers mom props. <laughs> anyway, guys, my mom has been supporting me for so long. Like, it's crazy. She used to come to every single one of my baseball games, no matter if it was raining or snowing or sleeting or anything. Like, she was always there, and she's still here. Thanks for listening, Mom. I hope you like this one a little bit more than the last jam band one. Sorry about that. <laughs> but anyway... This one's by Billy Preston. He plays the organ, the song Wales, and it's been such a fun time, guys. This has been Hump Day Hikes, Volume 6. We'll see you soon.